Another month is in the books and another month of solid gains across all the indexes. In fact, the Dow Jones Industrial just enjoyed a 13-day winning streak, which was the longest on record since 1987, which I consider to be a great era, but I may be a little biased. However, had the index eked out just one more day, making it 14 consecutive days, it would have been the longest streak since 1897. Year-to-date, here are the returns of the three major averages. The Dow Jones Industrial is up 7%, the S&P 500 up 19%, and the NASDAQ is up a staggering 37%. Technology has been the darling, but of late, the rally has started to broaden out, which is great. With that being said, finding deals in the stock market that has been rallying like this can be difficult. But you know me, I never stop looking for a deal in the stock market. As such, in today's video, we are going to quickly take a look at three dividend stocks that I believe are great buys in the month of August 2023. But before we do, do me a huge favor, smash that like button down below, subscribe to the channel so you are notified anytime we drop new content. And with that being said, let's jump into it. Hey everyone, Mark Rusin here, back for another video. As always, I'm a CPA and not a financial advisor, so please do not take this as financial advice. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, then you know that I love researching stocks, and I have used a number of platforms over the years, but one platform of late that I've become really fond of is Coifin. One of the reasons that I love Coifin is not just due to the fast and reliable data, but the customization that the platform allows you to do. The customization options are great as they allow you to see what you want to see while making research much more efficient. There's data to research individual stocks, ETFs, and mutual funds, as well as government yields, different indices, various currencies, and yes, even cryptocurrencies. Here's a look at a dashboard example, but as I said from the top, you can make this look like whatever you want it to be. Financial analysis allows you to research and see the trends over the years, whether that is revenue trends, net income, or free cash flow. You can view historical data in a quarterly or annual format. Coifin is a very impressive tool, one that you should definitely check out. And right now they've given me a special 10% off for my viewers on this video, and you can see the link down in the description below for you to check out just for yourself. So thank you to Coifin for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to our video looking at the top picks for August. But before we look at those picks, let's review the picks that we had from July. If you recall, the top five picks that I had for July included Qualcomm, Amgen, FRT, Visa, and CCI. During the month of July, the S&P 500 gained 4.2% on the month and three of our five picks outperformed the market. Qualcomm zooming higher by nearly 10%, Amgen was up 7%, and Federal Realty up nearly 5%. Visa, who reported earnings during this time, was up 1%, and Crown Castle continues to fall, and it was our only negative stock down 4.5% over the past month. Now let's look at our picks for August 2023, beginning with stock number one, which is Raytheon Technologies, stock ticker RTX. If you're unfamiliar with Raytheon, they are one of the largest defensive contractors here in the U.S. today. The company has a market cap of $127 billion. Over the past 12 months, the stock is down 6%, but in 2023 alone, year-to-date, they are down 13%. Wow, so what's going on in 2023? Well, really, it's not a 2023 issue. Much of this loss has been in the past week or two since the company reported their Q2 earnings, which the earnings were actually quite good and the company increased their guidance. We'll take a quick look at those here right now. The company reported record revenues of $18.31 billion during the quarter, which was a 12.3% increase year over year. Gross margins came in at 20.7%, but one of the concerns were around the higher operating costs, which are expected to be temporary. In addition, management raised their 2023 full-year guidance to revenues of $73.5 billion and adjusted EPS of $5 even at the midpoint there. Compare that to the prior guidance of $72.5 billion for revenues and $4.97 per share for earnings per share. When it comes to aerospace companies, especially Boeing, Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, they have a backlog, and that's a key thing that you want to hone in on as an investor. These are contracts that they've won, but things that are going to be built in future years because they can only build so many products in a given month. 
The company's backlog currently stands at $185 billion, which is a 15% increase year over year, and that should take them out fully through 2025. Okay, so earnings look like they came in actually pretty good. Operating costs were up a little bit, so there were some concerns there, but why the double-digit sell-off? Well, the company also reported a recall that affected roughly 1,200 engines that they've built with one of their subsidiaries, which impacts the commercial industry as well as these engines need to be at least inspected for a disc-related issue. The stock was down more than 15% at one point after earnings, so initial sellers were thinking this to be a $20 billion exposure to the issue. That just seemed way overblown to me, and a lot of investors agreed, and they jumped in and started buying Raytheon. I started taking an options approach and started selling cash-secured puts. So let's take a look at valuation, but before we do, let's take a look at the dividend. Raytheon pays an annual dividend of $2.36 per share, which equates to a modest dividend yield of 2.7%. The company has a five-year dividend growth rate of 5%, which has been closer to 7% over the past three years, so you get a little bit of dividend growth each year. In fact, Raytheon has increased their dividend for 29 consecutive years and counting. Now let's take a look at valuation to determine if Raytheon is worthy of a buy on this pullback. Analysts are looking for EPS of $5.02 per share in 2023 and $5.71 per share in 2024. Using those estimates, shares of RTX trade at a 2023 earnings multiple of 17.4 times and a 2024 earnings multiple of just 15.3 times. Over the past five years, for comparable purposes, shares of RTX have traded at an average earnings multiple of 19.8 times and over the past decade, closer to 18.2 times. As such, the stock does look quite attractive at these levels. Now let's take a look at analyst average 12-month price target, which is currently sitting at $102 per share, implying 17% upside from current levels for Raytheon Technologies. Now moving on to August dividend stock number two, which is ExxonMobil, stock ticker XOM. ExxonMobil is one of the largest energy conglomerates in the world today, producing the likes of crude oil as well as natural gas, among other things. The company currently has a market cap of $417 billion. Over the past 12 months, the stock is up 16%, but here in 2023, the stock is flat. Exxon is an interesting play. Obviously, they are a play on both natural gas and oil, but there's a number of reasons to like this energy play. Year to date, the energy sector is the second worst performing sector with utilities bringing up the rear. When you look at the XLE, which is the Select Spider Energy ETF, which Exxon and Chevron are the two largest positions in, it is up only 3% year to date. But as you can see, things are starting to trend in the right direction. So we are value hunting in an underperforming sector. We are looking at a sector leader in the space, the energy space that is. So if you recall in 2021 and 2022, we saw energy prices skyrocket, especially oil prices, as concerns regarding the shortage from a Ukraine-Russia war. So the U.S., what did they start doing? They started to release supply from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to help fix the shortage. But what do we do now? There's no more shortage and those reserves need to be refilled, especially while oil prices were lower. When oil prices are lower, many producers cut supply. So with less supply and OPEC adding to those cuts, it will drive and is driving the price of oil higher. In addition to this, Exxon has been committed to cutting costs of their own in 2023. The company reported that it's on track to deliver $9 billion worth of structural cost reductions by the end of the year. Cost down and rising crude or oil prices is a win-win for both Exxon and its shareholders. Owning shares of Exxon will earn you a dividend yield of 3.4%, a dividend that has been increased for more than 40 consecutive years, making them a dividend aristocrat. Exxon has paid a dividend since 1882. In terms of valuation, analysts are looking for 2023 EPS of $9.05, which equates to a 2023 earnings multiple of 11.5 times. Over the past five years, shares of Exxon have traded at an average multiple of 16.1 times. Analysts are looking for a 12-month average price target of $125, implying 17% upside from current levels on shares of Exxon. Now moving on to August dividend stock number three, which is Pfizer Inc., stock ticker PFE. Pfizer is a global company in the pharmaceutical space, one that was in the spotlight during the global pandemic. 
The company currently has a market cap of $204 billion, and over the past 12 months, the stock is down 29%, with much of that coming, or more of that coming, in 2023, with the stock down 30% year-to-date. All of that additional revenue from the pandemic has been wiped away, for the most part, and that has investors concerned. But should they be right now? First off, Pfizer will be releasing their Q2 earnings after I record this video. So I will be looking for any further pullback in shares before making any kind of moves within my portfolio. But this has been a stock high on my watch list. A few things have been going on here, and less pandemic-related revenues is one of them, but healthcare has lagged, AI has been major focus, and a lot of investors are looking for that risk-on, high-growth asset. All that gives opportunities for long-term investors looking for high-quality companies. Investors are hesitant about the company's ability to replace the pandemic-related revenues when it comes to Pfizer. And the other thing is, is they have a lot of key products that are coming up on patent cliffs. This has brought future analyst expectations way down for Pfizer. This is not a story that will be turned around in 2023. So investors looking to jump in on Pfizer need to be patient as they will need to wait for the new approved drugs and the upcoming pipeline, which is loaded, to make headway for the company. In the meantime, as you wait, you get a 4.5% dividend yield that has been growing for 13 consecutive years, albeit at only a 4% average over the past five years. Analysts are looking for 2023 EPS of $3.35 per share, which equates to a 2023 earnings multiple of just 10.7 times. Over the past five years, for comparable purposes, the stock has traded at an average multiple of 13.2 times, which is also in line with their 10-year average as well. Analysts also have a 12-month price target of $46, implying a staggering 28% upside from current levels for shares of Pfizer. The highest price target on the street is $75, which analysts are looking for the stock to essentially double. Not sure I'm that bullish on the stock, but we will have to see how it plays out. So there we looked at three dividend stocks that look to be trading at great valuations. Let me know down in the comment section below, which of these three do you believe is the best buy in the month of August? Is it ExxonMobil, the energy play? Is it Raytheon, the defense contractor? Or is it Pfizer, the pharmaceutical company with healthcare energy really struggling so far in 2023? Thanks again for watching. If you haven't done so yet, smash that like button down below and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.